Oh, that says match. It does. So. Oh boy. Um, one thing. So we could mess up on this, is what you're saying. We could. Well, it says match and then confirm with approve. Why not just like start simplifying and then see which one you can work towards? All right, I can do that. That sounds good. Incidentally, though, we didn't actually talk about this in 5.1. You can use your graphing calculator if you're allowed to, to check to see if two things are identities and. Confirming that something is an identity just means that they actually do equal each other. So I could graph the left-hand side and then graph the right-hand side and they should be the exact same graph. Right. So uh, we could right I now like. graph this that we're starting off with right. and this one or, or no. this one. Right. Or you could graph all three at once and just pay attention to which two are the same. Okay. And then you would work out the proof. But, That's a good plan. Uh, I happen to know which one equals oh and you have to show all the steps yeah but we'll we'll leave you in suspense and okay let's see sounds, what like we work it. sounds like toward. a good deal okay speaking of which i found my calculator nice yeah you were really worried about that yeah i was so here's our left side of our proof what we started with right okay and I, i'm i want to get a common denominator i want to get that? a common denominator okay. too it's the way to go. So we need our common denominator to have secant x minus 1 times secant x plus 1. I feel one. like that's going to end up being something. It will. It will. Um, good eye. Good eye. So, but first to finish this off, okay. this fraction, this first one, needs secant Se x plus 1. Right, right. The second fraction needs secant x minus 1. Right. It's a plus sign in between, which is so convenient. So plus is good because that means we don't have to insert any sort of bracket item thing. Right. So now we need to see what we can do, like 1 and minus 1. So we just have two secant x. Yes, because the there's a secant x and another secant x, so there's two secant x's. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's... Sometimes it's good to FOIL, and sometimes it's not good to FOIL. And basically, uh, if you can FOIL and end up with an identity, that's great. Yeah, even better. Yeah, but if you, f if you would FOIL and not end up, like if, if this had a different trig function in it, it's probably not going to work out. Probably well. not, but sometimes you still have to do that anyway to get something else to trig function up. Right. Yeah, but in this particular case, also recognize you got a difference of... Two cubes. Well, you got the... No, not no, cubes. The difference of squares difference is, is of what squares. it's going to be because you've got... The binomials on the bottom are the exact same except for the sign in the middle, which means you can square the first term, square the last term, and put a minus sign in there. So you shouldn't right. have to FOIL. Right. You, and, it and you need to be get, a flaw. Yeah. You need to get where you can flaw. Um, which is first and last. Right. Without you, the outer right. and inner. You've got to get where you can recognize that and not waste time on the, on the oil. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, okay. to continue on from here... Get your handy dandy circle cards out because I'm feeling like secant squared x minus one is something. Like an identity? Yeah, I th I'm thinking like. My, well, if we subtract the itching. one on, on your second identity in the Pythagorean identity section, if you subtract a one over, so that makes it secant squared theta minus one. Maybe we could write down what the equals, one you're, you're working from tan squared plus one equals secant squared. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So okay. we have to basically recognize that if I subtract one from both right. sides, there you go. There I, you go. I get yes. this. Yes. And that so means that tan squared right there. Right. Okay. I knew it. I knew it was something. Yeah. Okay. Now we, uh, if we can cancel stuff out and end up with a secant on bottom, it looks like the second one. Right. But I, uh, there's a two, so that's kind of like that's, the first one. Yeah. I, I'm thinking in one over tan squared, isn't that couldn't we pull that up and make that cotangent Yeah, so squared? can we t say two secant, two, co yes, okay, secant x. Hmm. So it must be since we have a cotangent, we need a cotangent, but then we don't need two of them, basically. We've got a squared. So what if we say, all right, co two cotangent x, change the second cotangent to cosine x over sine x. And then change secant to one over. Oh, that's good cosine. thinking. I like it because the cosines cancel out, and you have one over secant, which is cosecant, which is choice one. Right. Man, I love these. Gee willikers. So one over sine x becomes cosecant. Man, so that's, that's how it. can you not enjoy these trigonometric? 
trigonometric identical well, I can, proof I can see. Is, I don't know why I circled that. That's not an answer. That is. We do our little yeah, proofy thing. It's your mind. Although mind, it's kind of an answer on this one. We would Minecraft. pick option number one. Yeah. But I can see how it would be frustrating it whenever you first start off. Like, we've got years and years of practice. Some of us more than others, uh, as far as the years and years of practice goes. I don't know why you would emphasize that and look at me at the same time. What are you saying? You're the only person here for that for me to look at. Okay, okay. Okay? Yeah. All right, so, and we've got some more proof strategies here in this area. Some of us with more wisdom are excellent at these, by the way. Um, begin with the more complicated expression, work towards the less complicated expression. So that means sometimes if you want to start on the right side, if it seems like a, like if you can tell something to do on the right side, do it. Um, number two, if no other move suggests itself, convert the entire expression to one involving sines and cosines. That's kind of what we did That's what we here. did at the very end. We could, we changed to some sines and cosines so that we could work stuff out. And then last, combine fractions with a common denominator is right. a very good way to go. I agree. So.